Do you know, way back in the late 1700s, that's where they first had documentation of bobbleheads. Right, and it turns out that the origin of bobbleheads, they were called nodding heads. Nodding heads. And they were made by the ancient Chinese and Japanese civilizations. And they were precious. They were ceramic, and mm -hmm. uh, royalty bought them. Western royalty, yes. like kings and queens, and you can see them in paintings. And it makes sense because right. that culture is very Nods, polite. It's and polite, not polite, polite right. dolls. Mm -hmm. And then, as early as nineteen, as late as nineteen oh one, actually, um, ancient in ancient Germany, Germany, ceramic animal bobbleheads were being made. Right, but figures that were not animals were being made in the early 20th century, mostly in the 1920s, and sports teams took them on and made mascot bobbleheads. Right, and but that faded. Right, they people didn't really popular. like them, and not until 1960. Right, what happened in 1960? The World Series, MLB, got involved in bobblehead making. Yes, they did. They were the first organization that made the first paper mache and ceramic generic player-specific bobbleheads. Player-specific bobbleheads. Roberto Clemente, Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris, and Willie Mays. They were the first player bobbleheads. Right. All for the 1960 World Series. Yes. Bobbleheads continued with popularity mm -hmm. through 1964, 65-ish. Right. And then everybody got in on the game, and the Beatles bobblehead became very, very popular. Yes, and, and there are not many of those around, right. and they're very, very collectible. That's right. And then bobbleheads kind of waned in popularity. They were too expensive to make, and other giveaways were more po other tchotchkes were more popular than bobbleheads. Lunch boxes. L yeah, those kinds of things. And then... In 1999, something happened that revolutionized the popularity of bobbleheads. Yes, the San Francisco Giants. <laughs> they created the first bobblehead giveaway at the 1999. Right. Willie Mays, the first 20,000 fans, and it was the 40th anniversary of playing in Candlestick Park and it was the last year they played in Candlestick Park. Right. So the Willie Mays bobblehead was so popular that all, all the other teams took notice. Right. And that's when they started creating player bobbleheads to give away in stadiums. And it hasn't even been 20 years but bobbleheads have become so popular as giveaways at the stadium. The, the most crowded games at Dodger Stadium are when they're giving away bobbleheads. Yes. It's, it's time, time for Bobblehead Dodger, Dodger Baseball. And welcome to Bobblehead Stadium when we have Bobblehead Donnie Mattingly at the helm today. And now, and now time, time for the starting, starting lineups. lineups. Leading off, second base, Davey Lopes. Lopes. Batting second, right fielder Andre Ethier. Hitting third, first baseman Steve Garvey. Batting cleanup, left fielder Manny Ramirez. Hitting number five, Ron Say, third base. Hitting sixth, center fielder Duke Snyder. Hitting number seven, catcher Russell Martin. Hitting number eight, shortstop Bill Russell. And in the ninth spot, pitcher Clayton Kershaw. Okay, so it's late in the game and the score is tied. Bill Russell made the last out, which means that pitcher Clayton Kershaw will be the leadoff batter in the next inning. Right. That is not a good thing. So now, we are in the outfield and Clayton Kershaw takes the mound. Kershaw is getting tired, so Mattingly decides he's going to replace Kershaw and he brings in Oral Hershiser. It's a straight up switch. Hershiser replaces Kershaw. But if you look at the lineup, you see that Hershiser is going to be the first batter in the next inning. Oh. That's not good. Why? Because it's a pitcher. The first three batters are going to be Hershiser, Lopes, and Ethier. What are we going to do about it? We'll do a double switch. Great. How do we do that? Well, okay, let's use the same scenario. Okay. All right, it's late in the game. The score is tied. Bill Russell made the last out, which means Kershaw would be the first batter in the next inning. Not a good thing, right? Right. Okay, so now Kershaw's on the mound and he's pitching. Mattingly sees he gets tired. So Mattingly says, hey, I better put Hershiser in. He makes a change, Hershiser for Kershaw. But at the same time, he makes another change. He also brings in Kirk Gibson for Manny Ramirez. Ah. Mm. 
Hmm. So why would he do that? Because now he can make some switcheroos in the batting order, okay? He can put Gibson in Kershaw's position on the batting lineup, and he can put Hershiser in Ramirez's spot in the lineup. Great. So now when the Dodgers come up in the next inning, the first three batters are... Gibson, Lopes, and Ethier. Right. Perfect. A double switch.